Caitlin from the Oxford Lane Library. Thanks for joining me for story time today. Before we get started, I want to see those 10 little fingers. Can you do what I do? I have 10 little fingers. They all belong to me. I can make them do things. Would you like to see? I can shut them up tight or open them all wide. Put them all together. Make them all hide. Oh, where'd they go? I can make them jump high. I can make them jump low. I can fold them quietly and hold them just so. And now you're ready for story time. Okay, today's theme is imagination. We're gonna read books about using your imagination. Our first one is called Blue Spot. This is by Griselda Sastra Winata LeMay. Look, Mama, I have a blue spot on my new dress. How did that happen, Daisy? It all started when I was drawing during art class with a blue pen. Then at recess, I used blue chalk to draw hopscotch. I also painted a mural with blue paint. When we got hungry, we ate blueberries. Is that how you got the spot? Well, Mama, then it started raining blueberries. Luckily, I had an umbrella. The blueberry rain created lots of puddles that turned into blueberry jam. I had to walk over it on stilts. The jam started bubbling like lava and spouting like a geyser. But I was safe with my magical blue boots. When I got to the mountain of blue ice cream, I thought it would be easy to climb, but it was slippery and slowly melting away. <gasps> oh no, what next? It turned out that the melted mountain of ice cream used to be a blue monster's house. His blue tears splashed everywhere. I helped him build a new house made of blue cake, blue candies, and blue frosting. When the house was finished, we celebrated by bouncing on a river of blue jelly. Surfing on a wave of blueberry pie, and battling with blue donuts and cookies. All of that playing made us hungry, so we gobbled up the blue treats. And all that happened today? Yes, Mama, it did. It's all here in my drawings. Wow, but I still don't understand how you got a blue spot on your dress. Oh, when I finished drawing, I forgot to put the cap back on the blue pen before putting it in my pocket. The end. <laughs> okay, next we're going to do a fun flannel version of the classic book, It Looked Like Spilt Milk by Charles G. Shaw. All right, I need your help with this. Sometimes it looked like spilt milk, but it wasn't spilt milk. Sometimes it looked like a, what do you think that is? What does that look like? A rabbit, but it wasn't a rabbit. Sometimes it looked like a bird, but it wasn't a bird. Sometimes it looked like a tree, but it wasn't a tree. Sometimes it looked like a ice cream cone, but it wasn't an ice cream cone. Sometimes it looked like a, hmm, baby Groot or a flower, but it wasn't baby Groot or a flower. Sometimes it looked like a pig, but it wasn't a pig. Sometimes it looks like a birthday cake, but it wasn't a birthday cake. Sometimes it looked like a sheep, bah, but it wasn't a sheep. Sometimes it looks like, hmm, it's a tricky one. A great horned owl, but it wasn't a great horned owl. Sometimes it looked like 
a mitten, but it wasn't a mitten. Sometimes it looked like a squirrel, but it wasn't a squirrel. Sometimes it looked like a snow angel, but it wasn't a snow angel. Sometimes it looked like spilt milk, but it wasn't spilt milk. It was just a cloud in the sky. Okay, our second book about imagination is called Grace and Box. This is by Kim Howard, illustrated by Megan Lauder. The day the new refrigerator came, Grace got Box. On Monday, Box was a rocket. On Tuesday, Box was a home. On Wednesday, Box was a tent for camping. And also some ruins in Rome. On Thursday, Box was a submarine. On Friday, Box was Hong Kong. On Saturday, Box was a deep, dark tunnel. But on Sunday, something was wrong. In one corner, Box was sagging and one of his walls had a rip. One flap on Box was bent and crumpled. Box was a sinking ship. Grace gave him a checkup. His heartbeat seemed okay. She let him rest on the couch and read him stories all day. Next, she tried a bandage and then some veggie soup. But no matter what she did, did Box continued to droop. Can you droop? <laughs> then Grace had an idea. If Box was a sinking boat, maybe she was a pirate trying to keep him afloat. Ahoy, baby, let's try some tape. Grace fixed the rip in his wall. Get some cardboard for reinforcement. She patched crumples, big and small. Box looked different now, but that didn't matter to Grace. By Monday, he was back to work as another magical place. So Box was a fort, then a castle, which Grace worked hard defending. And every few days, a new rip would need a little mending. They played the days away with lots of color and laughter because best friends Grace and Box had big dreams to chase after. The end. Okay, the activity I have for you today is very simple. You're gonna use your imagination. I want you to find a box at home just like Grace did in the book Grace and Box and see what you can do with it. Can you turn it into a pirate ship or Hong Kong? I can't wait to hear. Thanks for joining me today.